What's up with what it do YouTube family? It's your boy Got It back at you with another video. Man, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, join the family. Man, we're going up over here. Smash that bell so you'll get notification every time a video drop. Like, share, comment. Man, as y'all can see behind me, it's raining. It's been getting down like this for a couple days. We done had a couple wet days uh, this week. And uh, But outside ain't the only thing that's wet today. Yeah, I took advantage of my weekend and uh, I did, I worked on my personal project. I told y'all that 2011 GMC Sierra, uh, I'm, I'm uh, redoing, like I'm getting her a full makeover. Y'all ain't gonna even recognize it. If y'all remember what it looked like before, I'm gonna drop a clip in there before. But when it's done, man, it gonna be, it gonna be something, something to see. So, uh, and still a work truck at the end of the day, it's not a show truck, but we're gonna do it up nice, we're gonna do it how, you know, put my touches on there, how I would like everything. But uh, I'm gonna give y'all a little glimpse, uh, give y'all just a little sneak peek, you know, to see where, where we headed with this thing, but man, it turned out beautiful. Let me give y'all a look. I mean, very clear. Straight out the gun. Kind of hard to beat that. And keep in mind, now this is a work truck. I'm still gonna be working out of it, but it's gonna be a nice work truck. So, let me give y'all a rundown for those that may be new to the channel, that may be new watching these videos with me. So we added the chrome covers on the door handles. I added the Denali style moldings because it had no moldings at first. And the truck was actually hit on this side. We replaced the fender, headlight, bumper, and I went with the Denali style grill and lower grill. But man, I'm real happy with how this turned out. Like straight out the gun. We can go a little further and cut and buff, but uh, we're not gonna go that deep into it because you know, we, we're gonna be working out of it. We're still gonna be moving around out of it. So we're gonna, we're gonna nick it up. We're gonna dent it up. So we ain't really tripping on getting it any wetter than this. Like, I mean, it's like a mirror. As you can see that, I mean, it really don't get no slicker than it, straight out the gun. Straight out the gun. And some of y'all that's keeping up with uh, what's going on with the channel, you might ask yourself, why am I painted out here in the open shop? This is exactly where I, where I painted it at. And I, I did flow coat it as well. For those of you who uh, wonder what a flow coat is, uh, I got a video on my channel about flow coat. Y'all check that out. But uh, I did paint it out here in the open shop. I had my uh, fan blowing where to blow the overspray out, but I did paint it out here because we got the Nova mask to the flow in here. And she up next. Hang one out here. Got one in the booth ready to go. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with y'all. Anybody that thinking like you gotta be in a paint booth, a fancy paint booth to get a good quality paint job. I mean, it helps, but that's not true. Like, I painted this out here in the open shop and got the paint booth right next door and I can honestly say I don't think it would have been any better than it is now if I had painted it in the uh, paint booth so uh, yeah you can put that to bed I mean as long as you got someone that knows what he's doing with that paint gun and uh, knows how the finished product is supposed to look I mean you can uh, 
you can get by without a paint booth and have a nice, a real nice quality paint job. So don't let them tell you, oh, it got to be in a paint booth because that ain't true. And I don't know if the camera doing it any justice, but man, that is like a mirror. Do you see that? That's what you call a mirror finish. And like I said, we can go further. Cut and buff. We can cut and buff and get it even slicker than what it is, but there's no need for that. I'm, I'm trying to get back on the road. I'm not taking it to any shows. We're just trying to uh, do it black, put my touches on there. I got something special we're going to do with the wheels. Like, the wheels going to be pretty hard. The wheels and tires, they're going to be hard. So, y'all stay tuned for the final product. Let me turn y'all around. And I appreciate everybody that's rocking with the channel, staying down with the channel. Man, like I said, y'all like, share, comment, share. And if you haven't already, come on, join the family, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, we out.